Hey guys, welcome back to the all passion, no skill playthrough of RimWorld, where we're playing with one colonist uh, who has no skill, starts off with nothing, and eventually is hopefully going to be a super colonist by the time we get to, I don't know, maybe like episode 5 or 6. He's getting better with all of his basic skills that we said he needed. Construction, plants, cooking, and mining. Uh, mining is probably going to be a lot of work today because I want him to dig out this entire section, but you give me about a million tips which have been really useful and I'm just trying to absorb it all, so I'm going to spend the next few minutes just explaining uh, a lot of kind of higher level tips that I've learned about the game uh, without going too deep into my mistakes. So if you don't really want to hear that, I would skip ahead. Um, but I'm going to start off with workflow, then talk about security and protection, food considerations, construction, mining, and the prisoners. Uh, a little bit on research, crafting, and materials. And then just some big mistakes I made with the prisoner, because I probably shouldn't have let Slick die, but you know what, we aren't going to cry over spilled milk or spilled blood in this case. Uh, and I also named the gazelle emergency meal, as many of you had requested. Uh, I'm leaving the cows as Bessie the cow and Red Bull, which I think is completely appropriate. Um, anyway, let's start with workflow. Uh, I've set him to hold open a lot of the doors in his house. Uh, this is mainly to hopefully get raiders to come through the right way. I know this is going to keep at the same temperature as outdoor, but we're also in permanent summer, uh, some of you guys pointed out. I do have a decent amount of proficiency, I'd like to think at this point, of picking my zones that I spawn in. Uh, so if it would only generate the planet in two seconds. Um, I chose a place nearby the equator. Uh, so here, I, I didn't realize it would get permanent summer. But, I mean, that's an added bonus. We're going to have to worry only about heat then and not freezing to death with with Lee, which is actually quite nice because I think it's easier to cool down than to keep warm. Um, anyway, we're holding open the doors in the house to avoid uh, really just doing more work. Uh, and it also doesn't affect the beauty if we go in here, so he can't see everything outside. Uh, whoops, I didn't actually mean to deconstruct that just yet. Let's just take that out because now we're going to need to build a door there and the reason I'm doing this is for safety so that he can replace traps uh, on either side without ever having to pass through a trap because if you recall in our previous colony uh, we had many colonists like die to or just get really badly maimed by stepping on wooden spike traps accidentally uh, so we're going to try to avoid having him ever step over one of those because I seem to have the worst luck in human history when it comes to that kind of thing. Uh, eventually we're going to want to get lights and power running in this base, but for right now I'm fine with it as is. He's going to be spending a lot of time outside. Uh, we're also going to want to separate and create stockpile zones for where we need things from, like wood and such. Uh, but I think that since I have these doors open, Lee should be fine in here. Anyway, he is getting pretty negative beauty, so let's focus him on constructing this door right now. He needs wood. Haul the wood. Lee, do it, Lee! Do it for me! Um, okay, he's gonna keep on feeding the cow, that's fine. Uh, I also did have him plant some hay grass out here for the plants, because as much as possible, we want to keep the animals, though I can't really guarantee their safety. Um, which I guess brings me to food considerations. I could go to pemmican instead of refrigeration, but I don't want to have Lee spend- I don't want to be too dependent on this cow's milk, because the cow might die. It's possible that it's gonna happen, uh, even though the pemmican would be a great food source. Let's see, he is refueling the campfire. Okay, that's fine. Um, other things we want to do are just make sure that we've got Lee working toward a freezer in time. The milk is great, too. We're in permanent summer. Uh, we want to be using the animals tab, or the wildlife tab, because we can hunt down some animals. And I didn't realize that it's actually going to tell me, uh, which ones have a 0% chance of attacking. I had mistaken this before because some animals can go mad, and then, like, a, a normally non-violent animal, like a hare, which has 0% chance of seeking revenge would still attack you. So I was kind of mixed up on that, but that's good to know. Um, what else? We we're growing hay. I might end up doing a nutrient paste dispenser for my meals uh, because nutrient paste, even though that it gives you a slight debuff, it would take work off of Lee. And I think I'd rather do that than spend the time researching pemmican. Are you going to be okay going out in the rain? Okay, he's going to be okay going out in the rain. He's still suffering from Slick's death, though. Um... Let me see. I think he's eating pretty good meals right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. Certain animals, though they can go mad. Yeah, we talked about that. Um, let's talk about security and protection. So, one great suggestion was to build an outer wall around our entire base, and I, I tried going in here to see if I could find any really quick fixes, but it would always involve Lee building a pretty extensive wall, either along here or here. 
So what I've decided is that we're gonna hold off on the wall for a little while, only because there's so many different spots they could attack from. Uh, and I, I outlined a few potential possibilities, but I think right now we're just gonna focus on deconstructing these things and fortifying our really inner part of our base. Uh, let's see what else. Deconstruction seemed pretty reliable for gaining construction XP, which is probably the most useful thing for Lee to learn right now, because he's not gonna be doing an extensive amount of research, because that really takes him off of a lot of other important jobs for the day. Let's see, okay, he's delivering the granite chunks. That is a lot of uh, hauling, though. I don't, I don't love that part, but it, you know what? Yeah, we'll see if we can get his workflow you know, going in another way so that he could just deconstruct and then put things down right there. I didn't even expect him to do that, but I think it's because he was coming back to rest for the night. Uh, let's see. Deconstruction, deconstructing the floors, making an outer wall of protection. And I think, yeah, this last trap hallway right here, we just want to fortify this one area so that it's very, very well protected. Um, we're gonna try to spend the majority of today, though, building a prisoner room, because if I could outfit one of these things so that it's lavishly made, a lot of you guys had some really good tips about prisoners, um, many of which were hellishly terrifying, uh, <laughs> and involved, like, removing prisoner arms, and a lot of other things that I kind of planned to do, uh, because it's gonna get up his, where is his medical, his abhor, uh, uh, absolutely horrible medical skill. Um, in case if anything were to ever befall him. His melee, in case if he could beat up the prisoners, and also his social. I know I'm gonna sound like a terrible person saying that, but, I mean, if we're relying on one prisoner and we happen to get a prisoner who we don't really want on the colony, we could always do that to them. Of course, we're gonna try to give them a very nice room for when we amputate their arms, and also do very, just, our inhuman things to these prisoners that are gonna join our colony. Um, <laughs> at this point, uh, let me see. We got some of the crafting materials that were down here. I don't think Lee got everything, but I didn't notice that if things are deteriorating, they actually give lower item quality. So it's pretty much just a massive skill grind for a little bit longer until Lee can mow through these trees. And the last thing I want to explain, because um, there were a lot of mistakes I made with prisoners, but we can go into that when we get the next one and fix it up later. Uh, but I also just want Lee to be mowing through trees. So I set up a grow zone here where I forbid sowing and Lee can, like, you know, just take out any of the trees that come up. Or I guess the heel root, for that matter. Anything that's ready to harvest, so he'll just, you know, take out wild stuff there. And it's not too far from my base, so I think it's fairly efficient. You know, we listed three parameters from before. We said that we want our base to be efficient, safe, and comfortable. Um, and we got his bedroom up to dull, so that's enough for now. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to say, the reason I'm not smoothing these floors is because as far as I've read up on these... As long as you have rough stone in the entire floor, he can't... I don't think he can track dirt in here, so the room can't get dirty, so it's one last job for him. So that's the reason why I'm not smoothing any of the floors or adding down any tile on anything, uh, because it's actually gonna, you know, save him the task of cleaning this base. And I'm not even flooring any of the base, because he hasn't tracked any dirt in here, because dirt and rough stone, as far as I know, can't get dirty. Um, once again, if I'm being an idiot, and if any of the things that I'm saying, just correct me down in the comments, because you guys gave really fantastic tips before. But anyway, at this point, I think that's enough explaining. Uh, I'm going to speed up time, and we're just going to have Lee work on more deconstructing and mining out this area tomorrow. And yes, I am aware that this is underneath a mountain, um, <laughs> but um, I'm not too worried about the infestations right now, because it's pretty unlikely. I mean, I know Randy Random is terrible, but we're just going to have to rely on that hope. Uh, and then eventually we'll turn this into a refrigerator later. Uh, you know, that would be a natural placement next to our rec room and our kitchen. We'll have to expand these outward a little bit, but we can always build more refrigeration inward. Anyway, onward to the next day and greater skills. Okay, so I want to point out one thing. Um, I had said, I think in the first video, that Lee did not, that he gained bonus to construction, so he's already over the bonus for today, or at, at the, you know, uh, he's, like, he's reached his threshold, he's reached his limit, uh, and he's not learning as quickly by, uh, from construction. So this isn't actually 120%, this is, he's learning only at one-fifth of the speed. So at this point, I'm just gonna stop with construction. Uh, I'm just probably gonna, this would be an easy way to do it. Let's just take away construction for today. I drafted him, and he's now gonna harvest the plants. So we want to train maybe two skills a day, since he can do, like, a lot of work on one thing. Uh, 
or he can gain a lot of experience in one day since everything's a burning passion. Uh, we want him to maybe focus on two things a day, but max about 4,000 experience a day. So he'll get up to like level six, seven pretty easily and things, but eventually we are going to want to prioritize one or two, uh, maybe more than one or two skills, maybe like two to three skills that Lee really works on uh, in the end when we eventually do get a colony with many different people. But he's so far he's gone like a whole day and took apart way more stuff than I expected him to, you know, deconstruct. So he is starting to get very, very strong in some areas. In some things, he's also just going to be terrible for a while. Like, it's going to take him a while to mine out because he's still bad at that. But, you know, he is accelerating pretty quickly. I just want to interject for a second. Lee's been deconstructing stuff, but, I mean, one cow can more or less feed one colonist completely fine. Like, the cow just needs to graze. This, like, completely eliminates the need for rice or anything else. I don't know what's happening in my cotton. At this point, it's... Okay, it's it's still there. The, the, these Are these Ibex rams eating the cotton or something? Anyway, um... Like, Bessie is really an animal worth investing in. I might want to keep this cow alive. Uh, so it's a good thing that we set up a safe space for our animals before, uh, because if if the unthinkable were to happen, I'd really, really want to keep her alive. She's probably even more valuable than Red, and we could, in theory, I mean, she's not pregnant right now, but if she and Red decide to get together one day, um, then we might have a whole herd of- a herd of cows? Oh, no, what is it? A whole bunch of cows, and possibly bulls. Hopefully more cows, though, than anything else. Anyway, let's get Lee back to tasks. Uh, he still needs to do a lot more deconstruction, but his construction skill is being grinded ground? Whatever it is, it's coming along quite nicely. Okay, we just had a transport pod crash. Uh, this guy is a ridiculously good medic, though he's incapable of dumb labor. He's also a good cook. And he's a fast learner, too, which is very, very nice. Uh, chemical interest, psychically sensitive. I don't really like that. Um, the chemical interest we could pretty much just avoid. But let's just see what he... What is he, what is he doing? Um, okay, we didn't have the prisoner bed ready. I kind of regret not getting that ready. But at this point, yeah, all our rooms are awful. Uh, Alright, you know what? We'll just try it with another prisoner and see if we can get him to not go crazy. Uh, now, this brings me to a lot of things that I was going to say about prisoners, so I'll just try to touch on them as they come along. But let's set up a bed for him here. Eventually, we will want to expand this. I don't want to go under mountain yet, though, because that's going to bring out a lot of, you know, more rubble and other things. Um, but what is wrong with this guy? What is wrong with you? <laughs> what did you why did you fall out of the sky? Uh, his health, he's been cracked, scratched, and stabbed. Okay, so... <laughs> Seems... he's Captain Kirk. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, that's fine. Um, let's see. Will you die immediately, Kirk? Pain... he's in extreme pain. He's 39 years old. What is it? What are his backstory and things like that? Child star, which is good for social, as far as I can remember. Hauling disabled, though, and cleaning disabled. We don't really need those things. Uh, shooting minus five and medical plus six. Really, as a... as a doctor, that would be nice, because if something bad were to happen, a Lee... And I'd rather avoid having Lee, you know, grind his medicine all this time with all of the other work he could be doing. Kirk might be able to take care of him. So let's rescue this man. Fortunately, we did just get some heal root. And I don't see any reason for him to die on the way back. But let's just put him in bed, you know. It's, mm, impoverished, advertised beauty. Okay, you know, we're going to try to fix up our rec room anyway. But I guess first thing tomorrow morning, we're just going to get Lee to work mining. Because uh, he has enough... Yeah, you know, we're gonna have to deprioritize the construct. Whoa, you are running fast. Okay, great. You got that. Yeah, we'll deprioritize the construction and then we'll prioritize mining out this other room and getting another prisoner room ready ASAP. Okay, I should have known this. Kirk immediately walked outside. I thought he would stay in this room, but I should have known that prisoners would walk out of doors and he immediately got hit by a trap. So we're gonna, uh, taking to bed, Kirk. Let's uh, yeah, take him to the bed. Whatever. That would that would be great. Uh, otherwise, he's nude, so I don't think he's really going to be able to give us any clothes. But that was pretty... Honestly, that was pretty awful. But <laughs> if, if the worst happens, then it's just more medical skill. I would really like this guy, though. Ah, oh, man, he just got even 
that was probably worse than falling out of the sky. Uh, to be quite honest. But it is, it is more experience for Lee. That's, that's kind of a darn shame, though, because I wanted to do it like this, because I think it's going to give a better chance for raiders to come in through this side rather than through this thing. So now I'm going to have to get a whole new room set up, and I can't even leave that door open. Oh, well, more, more for the brain. Well, it may have been a god-awful mistake, but it did get Leo to- or it's not Leo, Lee to medical level 3 and nearly at level 4. I'm sure with all of the other stuff that this guy's experiencing, Lee's gonna be at level 4. So, you know what, if nothing else, this man fell out of the sky for Lee to get some experience, but... It's- it's always those little things, it seems like, you know, like the little micro- we're, we're not gonna- we're not gonna dwell on this. We're just gonna get a better room going so that we can get more prisoners in the future. All right, Kirk got an infection in his torso. Ensure that I have a medical bed and doctor. Make sure that he gets treatments, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, Kirk is now even more screwed up from, the st from being stabbed in the torso by one of our wooden spike traps. It's good to know that they're very effective, though. Uh, at this point, Lee can... He's relaxing socially by the fire. That's probably not a great idea. I mean, he's not greedy, but he, by his actions, I judge that he is. I'm also leaving him to anything on his actions all day, because if I'm micromanaging so much, it's all right if he slacks off midday. Um, it's just, uh, you know, like, I'll, I'll regulate his mood manually. And this is one of the fun parts of playing a single character. Okay, so now his bedroom is not off. We need to keep on being careful to replant these daylilies, though, in his room, because if even one of the daylilies dies, the room goes from being dull to awful, and we want to keep it at dull so he doesn't get that awful bedroom debuff for the entire day, because he's just barely staying really strong right now, and Bessie's pregnant! Thank God. Okay, I don't know how long it takes them to give birth, but... 20 days. Wow, we Oh, wow, that's kind of crazy. So we find out only at seven days. I wonder if there's a way... Oh, I didn't realize that the gazelle can be released. I still I still maintain my dream of having an army of gazelles that I can release on my enemies, but in due time, in due time. Okay, Lee just... In, like, I didn't realize how bad this is. If you look at the health... He got a spike trap hit into his torso, and his left lung was stabbed? So, I mean, the fact that he's still alive with Lee being a terrible doctor as he is, Lee's like, oh, you should put a band-aid on it at this point. And he may go crazy because- well, actually, we, we want to make sure that he doesn't go crazy. Mind-shattering pain. Okay, he may very well go crazy. Uh, huh. I, I don't really- we could, you know, knit him up some clothes to make him not be naked, but <laughs> ah, I don't think we could really do anything about the main problem, which is the mind-shattering pain. We probably want to get rid of the awful prison cell first, and the unsightly environment. We could actually take care of that. Well, also, this room is always going to be dirty because there's dirt on the floor, so... I don't know, this guy may go crazy and it may just be more experience for Lee, but Lee's got also got a knife. D does he have anything with him? No, he doesn't have anything with him, so Lee <laughs> does have a knife. Um, huh. I don't, I don't know, we're just gonna want to prevent him from going crazy, so the sooner we can get out this prison, this, uh, you know, the actual prisoner cell, the better. Now, how is he gonna be for recruiting? Recruiting difficulty, 37%. Now, I did have this mixed up in the last video, and I thought that lower percentages were harder. Turns out it's exactly the opposite, so this guy is gonna be a much harder recruit than Slick, but still not such a bad chance of recruitment. Resistance remaining 10, that's, uh, I think it goes down by, like, a tenth of a point each day, so that does seem like a lot of resistance. Also, the fact that he stepped on a spike trap and had his lung pierced is probably not adding to his happiness with their colony. Um, you know what? On the other hand, though, if this doesn't work out, we can always just use him for melee experience, because I don't think he's gonna hold up in a fight in this much pain against Lee, and it'll just be more experience for Lee. I mean, alas, but... eh. I I'm fine with it. Yep, okay, went down by two-tenths of a point, so there is still quite a bit of resistance remaining from this guy. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna help, but it's still giving Lee a lot of experience. I mean, his social skill has gone up since he met him, and he's basically been the only person that he's had to socialize with, so Lee's still probably at the point where he's stuttering and, you know, not really much of a social butterfly, but we did say that we wanted a colonist who would be a social butterfly and could make everyone else happy. And I don't know this for sure, but... 
Does social actually in like make the yeah. okay? So he's better at cheering up others. So this may actually have a positive, uh, you know, externality on the rest of our colonists eventually when they do join. Uh, that Lee will, you know, not be insulting everyone, and hopefully he could get along with everyone. I picture him sort of being the centerpiece uh, to a large group when eventually things hopefully work out, as long as Randy Random doesn't kill me in the next few days. Okay, and we got a bulk goods trainer. Uh, didn't know this, but if you talk to the trader, it's supposed to give you more social skills based on what you guys have said to me. So I'm gonna have Lee talk with him too, even if we don't trade anything. Don't know if trading actually raises up. I'll have to do a little experimentation there. Um, but yeah, it'll hopefully help him with Kirk. <laughs> you know, he'll have another person to talk to. And then maybe he'll be able to make up with him for the whole getting stabbed in his lung thing. Uh, but at this point, this room is actually getting more and more bad. <laughs> worse and worse. So we'll, uh, we'll just see about mining out this thing. It should be rough stone all underneath here, so we could have his room made of rough stone. Yes, it'll be mountain overhead. At least I think. Is this mountain overhead? Uh, let me see. Actually, if we click out of everything. Uh, constructed roof right here, so we're not quite getting mountain overhead yet, but... Rock roof thin. Okay, so yeah, maybe it is there. Uh, I don't know. Does rock roof mean that you could get infestations, or is it always mountain overhead? Anyway, we'll uh, no, don't focus on those plants. Focus on the mining. I'm just gonna manually go through all this because I need this pretty badly right now. All right. Well, I did not notice Lee's social skills go up when, either when I spoke with or traded with the trader. So I'm not 100% sure how that works. But you know what? He's still he's still gaining it along just by working with Kirk. Hopefully Kirk won't go crazy tonight while Lee's asleep. But I still think Lee will be fine if this guy decides to go crazy and fight him. Uh, I mean, we're making it worse. Wait, uh, feed him. I, I if I could keep it from an extreme break risk. That would be nice, because it's almost sure that he's going to go crazy when that happens. He is getting spacious interior now, though, that we've made this room larger. Slept on the ground. Yeah, we're probably going to want to make him a bed, too. Uh, I'll work on that tomorrow morning, because we do have the wood that we need. Alright, and Kirk died of the infection. I'm still going to prioritize getting this uh, bedroom ready, because we did go to the... You know, we went to all the trouble of making him a bed and everything, and I feel bad because he stepped on the trap. It was a silly mistake, but we'll get over it. Um, anyway, it was more training for Lee, and it kind of brings out in me the importance of getting these medical rooms and prisoner rooms ready before anything strikes. So, let's just be a little bit more preemptive now. I think I'm going to leave some more of these fields in the deconstructing, because we're pretty well defended. <laughs> Clearly, we're well defended by the wooden spike traps, because they killed everybody that they touch. Uh, and it further speaks to the overpoweredness of these early game items. So I'm going to continue with that. We'll get the prisoner room ready, and then we'll just continue with Lee on his other tasks, because he was doing perfectly fine on his own. And he's actually in a great... Oh, okay, he's not in great mood from the... Isn't, isn't, this is now the second innocent prisoner dying. But alas, I don't really know what else we can do. Okay, Lee is now just mowing through plants and trees, so I'm gonna need these for pretty much everything that I do, so... Oh, and we got a mad squirrel! Okay, where is that? Where is that? Alright, it's far enough from the base that Lee can be safe. Get safe, Lee. Get away from that squirrel. Man, that is a fast animal. Fortunately, he does not have any, like, muscular problems right now. Okay, that squirrel is coming in hot. <laughs> Look at it go, it's like... <laughs> fuck this guy, fuck this guy, fuck this... <laughs> it's just like... All right, great. Actually, uh, stand in the doorway. Sometimes the squirrels get confused. Nope, actually, it's fine. It's kind of a waste of a spike trap, but I mean, it's, you know, it's a meal. All right, get that squirrel. I love it how he gets right to the squirrel. He's like, I'm, I'm on the right the same page with you, Rob. I know exactly what, <laughs> I know exactly what you want. Oh, he is actually not that bad now. He's got mining three, cooking three. I'm glad that he got over being so god awful with mining. We have a decent prisoner. I mean, it's still awful right now, but we'll separate it from this room so that it's never going to get dirty. And we could probably make this a dull bedroom instead of an awful one so that the prisoners don't feel so bad. All right, and we get to eat squirrel meat, too. wonder what that tastes like. Okay, and at this point, Lee is just mowing through plants, so I think I'm going to continue with a 
perfectly good thing, because once he gets to, like, eight or nine, he's just gonna, like, vaporize these fields. Don't even think that we need these, uh, are these already- okay, these are all ready to harvest. So we're gonna do it this area next. We've got hay grass that we're gonna eventually queue for here, but it's becoming too much work for one person. Uh, within a couple days, he should be able to do, like, three fields in a day, though. So let's do him with, um, we won't need- uh, You know what, I regret to say this, but... I could do more rice. I could give him smoke leaf. Smoke leaf would actually not be that bad. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of smoke leaf so that if anybody goes crazy that we have joined, they could just smoke some of that and then feel better. And he'll finish off the uh, cotton. So smoke leaf, rice, and hay grass uh, should be a good a good combination. No hay grass. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, since we're in permanent summer, I won't really even. As far as I know, I don't think I'm going to need hay grass anymore, so I can just cancel that grow zone. Because all of this stuff should be perfectly fine for grazing for now. We could, like, repasture them on a different area if they deplete this entire area too much. Because it is terrible for the fields to have this happening so often. Uh, but Lee is also getting... He's getting better at pretty much everything. And he's turning into the kind of, like, super colonist of my dreams at this point. If only he could make a decent meal. Okay, and we got a raid from Dolores. <laughs> such, a, such an average name <laughs> to, to come in with. Sorry if your name's Dolores. Doesn't it mean sorrow? Sorry for that, too. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful name for, the mat, for that matter. Uh, but let's also just hold open this door since we're not having prisoners in here anymore. We want to give raiders a clear path to come in through. And it looks like she's coming in hot. Okay, we're going to get the animals to the safe space, too. Let's, uh, let's just restrict them. Come in, come back into the safe space, Bessie read an emergency meal. Okay, oh, wow, they are using the door. Great for them, they have learned how to use doors. And let's just have Lee manually be prioritized on some tasks that he can do while he's in here. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about him going out the door, I'm just going to manually restrict him. Cleaning rock rubble, that's great, Lee. You know what, work on those things while you're in here. Nope, don't go out there. Uh... Why did he bring in a wooden club over there? That was not so smart. Okay, you know what? We'll worry about that later. Because he's not even really butchering so many animals. Now, what is this? Granite? You know what? Screw it. Let's just make this wall of granite. I don't want you to waste any time while you're in here today. <laughs> Somebody else is attacking our base. You can build a granite wall inside. Whoops. Don't be that. There we go. Deliver the granite. Right now, this guy, unless if he starts attacking, I don't see any reason to be scared here. Wait a minute. Not assigned to constructing. Oh, yeah, because I took him off of it. Let's just do that really quick. I'll leave it as a four priority because I'm not having him do a lot of it. Please don't attack that part, Dolores. Please go th in through the side. Great. She's going in through the side. Through the... Through the gate. Oh, no, she sees the trap, doesn't she? WTF? Okay, there we go. Dolores. Wow, Dolores made it through too. Great job. Um, but she's also dead. Cult kid dead. Uh, she was only... How old was she? 16. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was very morbid. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, well, we can't get her clothes because she's dead. We could get her steel club though. We'll take that. Uh, and then at this point, let's just forbid weapons from this stockpile zone. I don't even know. I must have screwed this up when I made it. Let's see. St darn. Storage. Oh, whoops. Uh, I didn't mean to have any of this stuff. I just meant to have foods. Not rotten, though. Okay, and let's get that out of there, and then let's get Dolores in her grave. <laughs> okay, okay, this is getting very, very morbid. This series is going to get very morbid as we go on. Okay, anyway, we successfully, successfully defended against one trap. Let's just... Install this here instead, and then we'll order a few. Oh, what is going wrong with low food? That is not true. It's perfectly more than enough for the one guy. Okay, we'll get the animals out of the safe space, back to the danger zone. <laughs> and at this point, uh, you know what? This is probably the most stable colony I've ever had with only one colonist. Uh, and he has perfectly average stats now at this point, so it kind of speaks to how you could, you know, if you got the right skills, do perfectly fine with any colonists, so I definitely think I'm going to be using a lot of this for my next few playthroughs. Um, anyway, that's plenty for one video because I'd like to keep these, I don't know, like 30 to 40 minutes, which I estimate this to be at at this point. 
And uh, let me know if you have any other tips, because the other ones from the previous videos were phenomenal. Guys, I've learned so much about this game in so little time just from your excellent tips. And if you want to learn more about the game, um, I'm going to try to consolidate in everything that I'm saying at the beginning of each video when I do learn stuff. Uh, I know there's a couple of things I've glazed over, but check down in the comments too, or leave a comment, or ask somebody about something, because it's helping me to just ask for clarification on comments. And it's getting me way better at the game. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.